name is Yvonne, and I'm going to demonstrate how to do an acrylic still life painting. The first thing you need are your brushes. We have your filberts, different sizes, your flat, and your round. You'll need your assorted paint. There are different grades of paint. We have the student grade of paint, which is the cheaper of the brands, and it also helps you with just learning, just learning how to do the assignments. We have the professional, which are more long-term. Um, there's more pigment in the paints. We have, and we have your generic brands that you can just purchase at the craft stores. Next, you'll need your items for your still life. I only use five items. Uh, you want to make sure you have an odd number of items to show you, so that when the viewer is looking at your painting, this it creates a sort of interest for you. You want your different types of palette. This palette is the open palette. It comes in handy as it's relatively cheap. Then we have the closed palette. The closed palette comes in handy because you can store your paint longer without it drying out on you. And then we have your canvases. I use the canvas boards here, and the canvas boards, they're cheaper, that you can buy them in bulk, or you could just use the stretch linen canvases, which are more expensive. The first thing you need to do is take one of your brushes and sketch out the still life painting after setting it up. You can sketch it out in pencil or you can sketch it out in paint, depending upon your personal preference. It can be a, it can be a messy sketch. It eventually it's going to start to take form as you start adding in the shadows and the local colors. Here, I added in the shadows. The shadows allow the objects to start to take form. And then I started to add in the local colors. The local colors are the colors that are the most, that are the most present in your still life. I started to come in here on the background of the color, also in the shadow, and in, in the shadows on the actual object. I chose these, ob these particular objects for my still life because they were red in color, and I could use the red for the background and also for the object. You don't want to start adding in whites just yet because whites and yellows, they'll get mucky and it will cause you to want to start over with your painting. You might not want to do that. Acrylic is a painting that dries extremely fast. There are some mediums that you can use in order to kind of stunt the growing, uh, the, I'm sorry, stunt the drying process of the acrylic. Once you start adding in the local colors more, once the local colors are added in, you can go in and start adding the lighter variations of the colors, such as the pink, pink with your different like the different values of the red, or the darker values also, because you can you can keep building up the shadows. Um, you, don't, you still don't want to add white until after you get these different shades in. You start adding white only at the last step. When you get to the last step, you start adding white only as the shadow. It's pure white, only as the shadow. I'm sorry, highlight, only as a highlight. And here we have a successful acrylic still life painting. Thank you.